I would like to talk about very quickly about healthy attraction and unhealthy attraction and my views on those. In my view, unhealthy attraction, especially the one you see a lot in our society and in our communities, is one where we are more attracted to the idea of something rather than what's really there. Where the idea of a person is more attractive, when the idea of a person is more attractive than what they really are, you are deceiving yourself into finding out who that person is the hard way. In other words, if you hang out with someone or are drawn to someone just because of how they are uh, playing in front of you, how they are displaying themselves, if that is not an accurate display, you're drawn towards things that don't exist in that person. And because they don't exist in that person, you feel de deceived. You feel as if that person is a fake and you've been drawn to a fake image which was so real for you. Therefore, healthy attraction comes when you're not trying anything and you're allowing yourself to be. When they say be yourself, that self knows how to live, knows how to present itself. You don't need to keep creating uh, a mental plan of your own display. In other words, when you use the intelligence of the mind alone, you're not letting yourself naturally be following your other intelligence that is not all based on thought. Thought is a huge chunk of our life. We go on thinking about ideas and stimulating our imagination to degrees where we see new angles. Therefore, you, you don't need to completely be occupied by the attractiveness of certain ideas about others. You can be attracted to a very dirty place with good marketing. In other words, really look at what you're being drawn to and what is stimulating a sense of attraction. At times, our hormones, as someone, as someone said, our hormones hijack our intelligence when we are working with a chemical inclination within ourselves um, to, in a sense, find our desires and to find what we really desire. If you suddenly find yourself really desiring something more than normal, you have been stimulated. Literally, your hormones are behaving in a way where you're attracted to an idea that is more real to you than the actual source of the idea. This is why TV commercials are try to be your best friend, but you don't really know who they are or any other form of marketing. However, there is still healthy attraction because we do communicate ideas. Our names are ideas which are presented through sound. Therefore, the way someone communicates ideas can also be naturally done. It's not just that the idea. In other words, even though you are self-creating and self-receiving the images of what someone else is like uh, to you or to others or how you find them attractive, However, aside from that, really look at how that person naturally expresses itself. Some people know how to act in front of an audience, but are totally different people when they're uh, with themselves or in another space. You want to see someone who is sincere, because when someone is sincere, they're not really thinking about their actions to the degree that they're trying to change them or they think it needs to fit a different outline. You are yourself in the clearest way when you're not thinking about what you need to be. Naturally, you exist and let that be seen by others. Let your creativity, your presence be seen. Do not work with stories to the degree that the story is more interesting than the storyteller. Always look at the storyteller.